Hey guys, Everyman22 here. Going to give you the Eldar Elite recommendations as well as analysis. Start with striking scorpions. Melee infantry excels at ambushing targets. Yes, these are good. I already showed you the um, Redoctrines. You combine these guys with a bunch of stealth doctrines and you're gonna win early game probably. What's uh, this do? And what's Hunt do? Let's play the enemies outside their vision. Mandy Blasters. Yeah. Yeah, you combine this with, um,. You want to combine these guys with Howling Banshees usually because they're all good melee units. Why can't I unlock these? I should be able to buy these, like, daily. What does it mean by a lock? Does it mean this? I actually don't know what I talking about. Okay, it disappeared. That's weird. Anyway, yeah, these guys, when you combine them with some um, doctrines relating to hit and run tactics, these are extremely good. Like these are early game units. They're two lead points, which means you're gonna want to use these guys quick. And as effectively, you want these guys to do as much damage early game as possible. So you want to try to win the game early game as much as you can if you want to have these guys. So you're gonna have a lot of doctrines that revolve around that. Like, uh, for instance, this one right here. Where is it? Reflecting strike. Howling Banshees become vulnerable and reflect projectiles, that's extremely good. Banshees after killing 6 enemies, they gain a temporary shield, that's extremely good early game. That's one, like, cause that's just one uh, squad of uh, like, melee or infantry units. Uh, range injure a focus state removing self but greatly increases their attack speed. That's the uh, early game push threat. Or you can have a... Uh, Web break gets regenerate health and now use Redecoit in tier 1. They can also Redecoit faster. And then you combine that with Web break get activate a large hollow field, grants stealth to self, and then a circle. This combined with this, combined with the uh, striking scorpions, equals early game push. That's what you ideally would want to do with these guys. Ideally. And let's see, let's go to the next one. Wraith Knight Tal, dude. Well, she's obviously super late game. Yeah. Obviously super late game. Um, tank, crowd control, can... cause stasis to a lot of people, and when she's... Wraith units temporarily enter a retail state, granting stasis. Really up for this? Did they have no? No, it doesn't actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, you want to get her up to level eight, so you can use this in our army doctrine for the uh, striking scorpions. So this is a good this is a good combo together, because I don't think she has to be deployed to grant the uh, state. But eventually, you wouldn't want her to get level eight, because so you don't have to have her. Farseer Maka, range spellcaster. Um, Maka is deployed instead of dying, elite units temporarily into it. Stasis, you know, this is good. She's really good with all um, all units, all elite units because of that, just because of that one ability. Instead of dying, like, temporarily into stasis, you know. Didn't say how much, like 50%, 60%, 70%, didn't say how much, but it's still good. You know, like, even 50%. Or 30% is decent. Because that could change the flow of a battle. Her abilities include throwing her single spill, dark position, pierces, doing damage, knockback, units pass through, increasing damage in the circle where it lands. Huh. Yeah, she's mainly cow control. 
She doesn't have a lot of offense or defense, but she has a lot of utility. She has more offense than defense. She also has a lot of difficulty because she has two states of use. And she's good with any um, elites. Let's go to this guy. Altark, Kyr. Oh, Altark. You don't see Altarks very often. Some of the icons are called plus my jumps into. Yeah, it's decent offense, decent defense, decent utility. High difficulty. Huh. You can pass over any terrain. That's actually good. This guy's a lot of mobility. He's a decent hit and run sort of person. I don't think he has a damage output by himself though. Travels to a target position, kills him. So you can use Psychons or to return to position. Yeah, this prevents you from um, making, letting people run away. Like they can't run away with this ability, essentially. And you can finish them off. So you'd want him to try like skim around with this ability and then pick off small groups of melee or infantry units with this ability of preventing them from running away and then just use this ability again and just get out of there. And you can also jump plasma grenades. And you also increase speed with plasma grenades. So yeah, that's how you want to use this guy, essentially. And yes, of course, has fleet of foot. They all have fleet of foot. They're all really fast. They're good for hit and run. When he's deployed, the Avengers gain two charges of plasma grenades. Yeah. Not only does it increase the, the uh, strength of your infantry just by being deployed, but he's good for hit and runs. That's about it, though. Like, he doesn't have the offense or defense to really, you know. Ideally, it's how you want to use him as a hit and run. Alright. Next one. Jane Zar. She's good against large groups of infantry. Yeah, because this pierces, which means, and it does normal damage, so yeah, she's good against infantry just because it's one ability, essentially. Dash to touch And that's more piercing normal damage, so yeah, she's really good against infantry. And she slows, which prevents them from running away. So yeah, she is a nuker. An infantry killer. Capture, attacking, and attacking. Swift vengeance. Jesus, is she early game or is she late game? Four? Uh, it's, it's pretty early. It's like mid. Early to mid, I'd say. Wraith Knight, of course. Another super late game one. He jumps, target position to slide for distance. Attack speed is increased while sliding. It's interesting. Yeah, he has a. Yeah, that's kind of. Yeah, I thought so. He has a. Decently high difficulty rate. Let's knock back in a circle. Beaks when the circle is slow. Hmm. That's good. That's good ability. Of course, he has fleet of foot. The fact that he has fleet of foot amuses the crap out of me because he's a giant mech, mech robot, essentially. It's powered by the by dead souls. So recall and right units snug some charges over right there is on the field. So yeah, you're going. He's you need want to use this guy with other wraith units. Essentially, he's a super late game unit that you want to use with other Wraith units. Wraith Lord. Yeah, Wraith Lord teleports all own Wraith card and Wraith Blades to his position. Yeah, same thing. He's a, he's not super late game, but he is late game because he's seven. So you want to use him with other Wraith units, essentially heavy Wraith units. 
heavy on Raytheon. I mean, like you're gonna want to use most of your units. Gonna want to be raid units if you can do that. Cause damage not there. It's true damage, so it's good against vehicles and regular units as well. The shots. Uh, so he's a tank and he does a little bit of supporting. Yeah, speed increase and slows enemies and observe shots. That's interesting. So he's a melee unit that's good against other melee units and infantry. That's essentially. This is the kind of hero that other hero that other units like rally around because he can protect them with a wall and he can call, recall them to his position. So he's he's really based upon how many other infantry units you have and whether or not the race. By himself, he's pretty strong, but you'd want more infantry units and race units than just him on the field. Because otherwise he's not as effective as they could be. Alright, this one. Uh, warp spiders. Warp spiders are, of course, really good with um, hit and run tactics because they have the ability to teleport. Which also temporarily increases their damage. And if it has more charges, it slows in a circle, so yeah. You essentially want to use these guys as a hit and run with slow mines which also cause damage and it's a percentage based damage so it's good against vehicles and then of course I fleet to fight and when they're deployed fire prism teleport to like positions bonus damage huh that's interesting but yeah these are hit and run elites essentially they're assassins crowd control you want these guys to be picking off you as much units as they can. They don't want to be actually in like major engagements. Oh, they got hearts on them. So cute. Look at that. It's a little heart. They don't actually want to be in major engagements. They want to be like during the match, just picking people off again and again and again. Let's cool down. Three second cooldown. Look at that. Three second cooldown. Teleport wherever they want. Bam. Yeah. Just, just kill it. Kill a bunch of units with, this, with these guys. That's essentially it. Like all, as long as you're just killing infantry units. But actually, yeah, once um, and that's percentage based damage. I don't know if they're really effective against vehicles though. That's what that's the one problem. Their their offense actually, yeah, their offense and defense actually aren't that high for fives. I think like Gabriel Angelos has a higher higher strength and defense than these guys and he's four. So yeah, you're gonna want to use these guys as hit and run whenever you can because they they won't they won't be able to match up against other fives at, or at their power level. These are primarily for just killing infantry units. Next one. Um. Last one is Ranger Rohan. Yeah, this is another good stealth guy because he can, as soon as he's deployed, since beacons can create a patch of stealth cover at target position. And they're, they can be used even when he's deployed, even if they haven't been researched yet, so yeah, he's good for. He's, yeah, he's essentially an assassin. He teleports to target position with his stealth cover, and then he just kills them, and then he teleports away, or he tries to teleport away. Yeah, he has, he has way more offense than he does defense because he's a sniper. Yeah, imagine his range is really high. Let me see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, he's a sniper. And it kills infantry units in one hit. Holy crap. This guy's strong. This guy's really good at the game. It's like he can kill, if he can kill entire infantry units by himself, what's the cooldown on that, though? Doesn't say. Oh, it generates charges. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, if it was like 60 seconds, I'd be like, that, that's too strong early game. Just kill. It also stuns vehicles, which is hilarious.
I'd say this. Well, I would say this guy's dependent on the map, but not with this. Like this guy's self-sufficient. Like usually he'd be de dependent on whether the map has stealth cover, but he doesn't matter because he can just make stealth sensor beacons. They don't even need to be researched. And then his, and then he has the ability to um have regular rangers get shadow step as well, so they can teleport to stealth cover with sensor beacons. No, you can No, you have to. You choose between the two. Never mind. That's actually sucky. Like if you. Oh yeah, you can equip as an army doctor. Never mind. So yeah, this sensor interference, him, combined with status step as an army doctor is really good. It's really strong. Because then you just have rangers teleporting all over the place, killing people, and like your enemy doesn't know what to do. Because he can't. He need to have um. Detection set up all over the place. And it's at that point you just go heavy with uh, these guys or another elite unit. You can go early game lineup. Early game lineup, I'd say, is um, strike like everything I talked about. The uh, hit and run, probably strike and scorpion, of course, because there are two. You could have Farseer in there if you want. You could have him in there if you want. You can have Jane Zara in there if you want. Or you can have him in there if you want. But he's more mid game, so you want to watch out for that. Because at that point, they're going to be cranking out vehicles, so you can really get you want. Trigger and Scorpion, Ranger, maybe Maka, Maka or Jane Zara, I'd say. Either one. Yeah, that's my, th this is my analysis and recommendations of elite units. There isn't, there isn't really anything to recommend, to be honest. This is just analysis. So these are all good. Like they're, no, I don't think any one of these are bad. They're just used in different ways. Like, like if you ask me, what I prefer, Wraith here, Wraith Knight Taldir or Wraith Knight, Wraith Knight Taldir. Why? Because look at the difference in. Actually, is it? Yeah, never mind. Yeah, they're different. Wraith Knight's just a more offensive version of Wraith Knight Taldir. That's literally, literally it. He just is. If you look on the stats, he's less, he's less harder to use, and he has higher offense and lesser defense. Well, she has higher defense and lesser offense. I'm just a more aggressive version of um, Wraith Knight Taldir. Is Wraith Knight. So yeah, it's just analysis. I'm Man 22 thank you guys for watching.